Hi, I'm Luke. Um, I'm a pro muso, sort of playing for a few bands like Michael the Mechanics and The Script. And today I'm down here with the Mod X series at Absolute Music in Bournemouth and uh, just going to show you what it can do. It's an amazing instrument. You should come down and check it out. This is the Mod X 8, which is the 88 note version, uh, piano weighted keys. Uh, fantastic new range that has got the same sort of synthesis engines as in the, the montage, uh, the top of the range. So it's got the AWN sounds, which are the beautiful uh, acoustic sort of things like the pianos, the the electric pianos, the organs, the strings. Um, and these are all from the, from the classic sort of Yamaha um, catalog that's used in the montage. And um, that's sort of like a lot of the AWM. So uh, some great things with this, you can, it's still got the super knob, for example, so I can have a sound here. And I can start blending it. So I've got like a nice uh, 80s, electric piano behind it or move all the way over the classic sort of DX7 uh, electric piano there um, it's got the same sort of uh, where you can find sounds as the montage which is great you can choose category and say I want a guitar I just choose guitar I want an acoustic guitar and you just got all these guitars to choose from I can just pick one there. And the great thing as well, you can always get to things so quickly like reverb. So here I've got some reverb here. beautiful ones you can add things like delay and the great thing about this super knob is you can actually add as much things as you want to it just keep piling on the parameters so it could be anything from cutoff to delays on this one I've gone from nothing and I put both those on so I can have reverb and the delays at the same time Some great organs. So you've got your Hammond sounds. Again, I can choose organ. I want tone wheel. Just use a Hammond. Uh, Leslie effect. And on here today, we've got some drive. And on a lot of the sounds as well, you've got this sort of seamless changing. So, so I've got this bit, uh, organ running now and I can go to a different sound and I've got it here now. So that's a lot of the AWM2 sounds which are fantastic. We've got strings. Oh. So for example, I can bring in strings. Uh, I can choose, oh, let's use chamber. Some beautifully sort of lush sounds, and obviously you can you can uh, put a piano behind that and all things like that. For example, another viola here. Very much this sort of um, solo thing there. And as we bring the super knob down, which I can do with my foot as well, you can actually bring in more of a chamber. And then move to the solo. Well, actually, it's just changing other things there. But it's some quite beautiful sounds. Um, and that's just all in one side of the synthesis engine called the AWM2. And there's a completely separate one of the FMX, which is uh, frequency modulation, which is what you find in the DX7 Classic Synths and the SY77s. And uh, that frequency modulation is a huge way of making a number of sounds, uh, massive amounts of synth power in this. For example, the, uh, the DX7 has only got six operators and this has got eight. Um, let me find you a sound just to show you how it can work. So I've got some here. 
different sounds. So these are all just purely FMX. Again. quite amazing sounds there's uh, I'll show you how this is a great thing here so this can actually show you how it works um, let me bring this in for example so we've got our eight operators here showing no sound at the moment I can bring up eight and it's just very simple sine wave but this shows the power that something like this can do over the DX7 where you can actually in real time bring in other operators and make big synth sounds that you can affect. And that's just two operators as opposed to using all eight, which I think is fantastic. Other things that this can do is the, the control, the different ways you can do the same thing. So, I was on a gig I've got to do soon, I've got to do some side chaining and trying to work out the different ways you can do it. Um, so for example, you can side chain on something you're actually playing yourself, which is quite cool. So you've got the, you've got the synth side chaining. But you might not want to hear the kick, so you can always lose the kick and have... Or you can put it on an ARP. Which is, which is pretty neat. One of the things I wanted to show you on, um, on the Mod X series, which is uh, amazing, and this also can be done on the, on the montage, it's one of the, the big features that Yamaha have managed to do, is the way that it can treat audio coming in as well. Um, so for example, I've talked a lot about side chaining because it happens so often these days in, in popular music. And um, so if I bring in, I've got basically my iPad, just playing uh, four to the floor again, going into the ADN, and I can turn it on here, and we've got that coming in. The great thing about this Yamaha is I can literally turn it down and stuff if I want to. So, so as that comes in, I can actually say to the uh, to the instrument, I want a side chain around around this. So, so, so I show you if I break this. So it's purely on what's coming in. So that, that means, for example, that that could be your, your drummer's kick in a live situation. It could be from your, your uh, DAW, and it could be the click coming in, which means that you're in real time playing along, and your keyboard, you don't have to worry about other things. It's always going to be in time, because it's a, it's a physical thing coming in. So again... Uh, some amazing effects that can be done with that. So obviously I can just show you if I slow it down. And the great thing about this, uh, the engine that does this, ah, there you go, is inside here you can also do this, which is amazing, I think. So if I just choose a, a random strings, uh, stick the ARP on. Um, so in here, in the utility, I've got a few options to, uh, to sync. So MIDI sync inside, I can have an internal clock. So literally it is just going whatever the keyboard says it is. I can do MIDI and then that's going to be on what uh, your MIDI, so your, your Logic or your Pro Tools might be chucking in. And, um, or I can use this one, so I can use the AD in. And again, if I choose something um, to play through it and turn it on and bring it in. So now what I've got is just a simple drum beat coming in, and that could be a DJ playing something in. Uh, and I've got my ARP on. And as you can hear, the ARP's in time, and I haven't set it up to do anything in time. What I can do is I can turn down the dry send there. And over here, 
in real time, it's just reading what's coming in. So you can be in a live situation and let your arpeggiator actually follow what other things are going on around, which is amazing. You're actually taking away, you're not stuck to a click. If you didn't want to be stuck to a click, that could be the drum as a mix actually coming straight in. Um, and it's, it's just reading the audio, reading the transients and, uh, and setting the tempo of the internal clock to that. So that could be delays as well. So if I had that going, I'm sure, um, ah, here. Um, so if I bring in a, uh, a guitar with delays, um, bring, the, bring the mix up. For example, now I speed it up. Oh, I've got, that's why it's sounding a bit weird. The actual drums are going through the delay as well. So now the guitar, whatever speed I put that on, that delay is staying in time with it. it's not the best performance but I just think that's amazing that uh, we're not stuck to uh, the old styles of rigid tempos and and just by uh, what you're sending in through the AD here which is very clever other sounds the great thing is if you're a piano player you can you've got a ton of different sounds you can do I love this one it's quite 80s pedal on the super knob here. Quite sort of great, uh, obviously lots of um, beautiful electric pianos from Rose to Tremolo. A lot of these sounds you can quickly switch using scenes to a... Uh, what else? So some great... If you're, if you're doing um, production music or arranging, you can just say, oh, okay, I really need some brass. Um, and then just got so much to choose from here. It's quite a fantastic thing. So you've always got um, something that you might want to use that you can actually. Some quite cool effects. Uh, woodwind, bassoon three. Which is great if you just suddenly you're working from home and you need every sound almost conceivable that you could put into something. Um, so uh, how the keyboard works, this is 192 note polyphony. Uh, it's got its own dedicated sound card so you can, you can chuck in your, your DAW or a main stage and control it by its own separate volume. It's got 768 megabytes of flash RAM that doesn't die when you turn it off, so you can put your own samples, your own your, your own um, uh, sounds in, and you can also download from from Yamaha or from external places your friends' sounds or or uh, third-party things. Uh, so, for example, in this one, I actually have um, I've got a bunch in my category search. Here we go. I've got CS80, so I've got a ton of the classic CS80. Um, <laughs> synth sounds and actually um, at the studio I work 
we've got a CS80 and it's the most beautiful synth, but it weighs 100 kilos, it's about 30 grand and it's never in tune. Well, one every two days it's in tune. So here we've got all the, some great sounds that you'll recognize from Stevie Wonder and all sorts of things. It's great for basses. Um, Uh, also in this we've got the uh, the DX7. Uh, I think the uh, Mod X8, you can also get the Bersendorfer samples that you've seen in, in the montage and in some of their um, their home uh, upright pianos, which is, uh, you know, Bersendorfers are some of the most beautiful pianos in the world. Uh, this is the DX7 sort of strings, which are like the classic 80s. We've already played one of the electric pianos, but... Um, That's almost Seinfeld. Um, yeah, and as I say, this is the 88. So the uh, when it comes to pianos, there's just so much you can choose from, from um, sort of uh, classic uprights to um, to the big lush grands to uh, this is an FM one ragtime piano. So kind of like a like a toy type thing. Uh, the CP80, the classic uh, Yamaha thing that Phil Collins played on nearly everything. Um, what else have we got in here? Just tons of different piano sounds. So that was a very mellow one if you wanted more rocky stuff. There's a great one in here I found the other day that I used on a recording. So it's like really compressed. Sort of sound is um, quite like it's been done on a record. Uh, old blues. Actually, and one of the new functions on this uh, keyboard, which is uh, not even on the montage, is you have the rhythm button here. And so you can just press this one button and then you can choose a kit and you're literally then just away if you want to just play to yourself or, um, or you're doing gigs. <laughs> and then we have different art selections. So that would change the, uh, what the drummer's doing. And you don't have to ask him twice either, which is good. Okay, and also using the, uh, the rhythm pattern, which is a, a great feature, kind of similar to what we were doing earlier with the, the side chaining, is we can choose something very simple. For example, just a four on the floor, dance floor kit. And uh, we've got the synth there, we've got the kick just going around, but we've got this new button as well inside here, envelope follower. And I can turn that on and already the synth is just uh, side chaining around that. Uh, ring. Tap tempo, what we want it might to do. Um, and so this is great, it can be, it can do that, it can, uh, we can do it with, that's doing volume. We can easily do, do cut off, do resonance, you can do, um, Actually, you can do some quite random stuff. So if I choose a more exciting kit. Um, so now it's following that. But we don't have to, we don't actually have to use uh, volume or anything like that. We could make it do some really random things. So we could say, actually, do you know what? We're gonna do pitch and we can go. And the other great thing is, you might not want to hear the drums, so we can say, you know what, let's not hear any of those drums. 
And then we've just got the keyboard just following something that you're not even hearing. You get some quite cool effects from it. And that can obviously just be with the very simple side chaining as well. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, Mod X series. There's the 8, the 7 and the 6. One of the great things is that we haven't mentioned is just they're so light. 14 kilos for the, uh, for the 88 as opposed to the montage is uh, 27. So you have to be a bit stronger to pick the montage up. Uh, the little one's about six kilos um, and just huge amounts of power at a great price point. And they're in the shops now and uh, yeah, pretty amazing.